This strange looking plant is called the Ureta. What looks like moss covering rocks is actually a shrub comprised of thousands of branches, each containing clusters of tiny green leaves at the end. And it's so densely packed together that you could actually stand on top of it. This individual lives in the Atacama Desert in Chile, and it happens to be 3,000 years old. It also happens to be a relative of parsley. For the past five years, I've been researching, working with biologists, and traveling all over the world to find continuously living organisms that are 2,000 years old and older. The project is part art and part science. There's an environmental component. And I'm also trying to create a means in which to step outside of our quotidian experience of time and to start to consider a deeper time scale. I selected 2,000 years as my minimum age because I wanted to start at what we consider to be year zero and work backward from there. What you're looking at now is a tree called Jomansugi, uh, living on the remote island of Yakushima. The tree was in part a catalyst for the project. I had been traveling in Japan without an agenda other than to photograph, and then I heard about this tree that is 2,180 years old and knew that I had to go visit it. It wasn't until later when I was actually back home in New York that I got the idea for the project. So it was the, the slow churn, if you will. I think it was my long-standing desire to bring together my interest in art, science, and philosophy that allowed me to be ready when the proverbial light bulb went on. So I started researching, and to my surprise, this project had never been done before in the arts or the sciences. And perhaps naively, I was surprised to find that there isn't even an area in the sciences that deals with this idea of global species longevity.